welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in this video, as you can see by the title, today I'm going to be recreating Pinterest hairstyles on my hair. I picked out a couple hairstyles to try out and yeah. So starting with the first one, this is what it looks like. Um, the first one is kind of, I'm starting off with a simple kind of hairstyle. It's not like too much going on, just a low kind of mid to low uh, braid. So I'm first starting off by spraying my hair with water and my hair was already slicked back as you can see. I had my hair in a high bun earlier in the week so it still was kind of laid back. So now after I sprayed my hair with water I'm pulling it back into a loose ponytail and I'm using my wet line extreme gel and I'm putting that on the perimeter of my hair. And as you can see I'm not using that much gel either just because I didn't want to have a lot of gel build up on my hair. So now I'm using my brush, my hard bristle brush, and I'm brushing my hair back and I'm pulling it back into a ponytail and yeah, I'm trying to get it as tight as I can get it. So now I'm using my edge booster and I'm just putting this on top of what I already put down because I'm putting this more towards the back um, where my ponytail sits, if that makes sense, just because that part had a lot of flyaways. So now I'm spraying my hair with some water and I'm working on the braid. And before I started braiding, I wanted to make sure I detangled my hair also so I wouldn't have any trouble when I was braiding. Um, so I'm using my brush and I'm just detangling the hair that's left out. And now for the braiding part, I'm separating the hair into three pieces um, and I'm just going to start braiding it. And for this part, I started braiding and I was like not doing it right as you can tell. Like I messed up a lot and I had to redo it a couple more times, but this is how I like started braiding it. I would kind of do it to the side. You're supposed to do it like kind of with your arms behind you, but it's so hard for me to do it that way. So I just did it to the side and yeah, I went ahead and also added another scrunchie cause she has like a bigger scrunchie on her uh, ponytail. So yeah, this is how it looks. Um, I also forgot I need to do the baby hairs. She had her baby hairs kind of like. They were kind of like really soft baby hairs, I guess you can say. Like she didn't have them super like slicked down and all that. So I tried to make mine just like that. And I'm also using my edge booster for this also. All right, so I'm smoothing my hair back a little bit more, but this is how the hair turned out, this first hairstyle. Um, it's not the exact same. My hair is obviously shorter and the braid is a little bit bigger, but I do redeem myself later on for the rest of the hairstyle, so make sure to keep on watching. Now for the next hairstyle, this is what it looks like, and I'm starting off with using a comb and I'm parting my hair all the way down. So once I'm done parting my hair down the middle, I'm gonna go ahead and tie up one side and I'm working one side at a time. I went ahead and already sprayed my hair with water and I'm detangling that side of my hair first. So now I'm making another part on this section of my hair. And then as you can see in the picture, she had like four twists all together really but like two of them were on this side two of them on the other side so i'm making a part and i went ahead and started my first twist on this side and i'm just doing like a flat twist um not anything special not like i don't know i'm just doing a flat twist and then i should have braided the ends so that i could hold it together but i just twisted it even more and i like tried to hold it down with my um chin or my elbow whatever my shoulder whatever and so moving on to the other side, I'm doing that section right there. This part, I got kind of lazy and I ended up having to go back later on to fix it. But I just like just twisted it. I didn't like two strand twist it, if that makes sense. And yeah, so I just went ahead and did that, those two, and I tied it up. I hope this is making sense. You can watch if it's not making sense. It's hard to explain. But yeah, I went ahead and did that. And now I did the same thing to the other side. And I went ahead and braided my hair up also just to get that hair out of the way. And now I am doing my edges. So for her edges, you could see she had like dramatic edges and then she had like the rhinestones on it. So I'm first doing my edges. And this part took me forever to do because I had brushed my hair back, a lot of my edges back into the uh, twist. So I had a lot, or I didn't have a lot of hair to work with. So, but now I'm using my rhinestones and I'm using some lash glue and my tweezers. And I'm just putting the rhinestones in random places around my edges and now I'm taking my hair out of the two braids like I said I put it in the braids just to get the hair out of the way while I was doing everything else 
So I'm just fluffing my hair out and kind of giving my hair some volume. Um, her hair looked like she did a braid out or a twist out or something like that. It doesn't look like she used gel or anything. It's like a braid out, like I said. But I just went ahead and did this and yeah. So this is the final result and how this hairstyle turned out. I feel like if I had done braids instead of the twist, it would have looked a lot neater. But still, I like the style and I give it probably like a, I give it a 6 out of 10 on me. Now moving on to my last and my favorite hairstyle is this one right here. So I started off with parting my hair in the front section. I'm doing like half up, half down. And the part wasn't like straight. It doesn't have to be completely straight. Um, and yeah, so that's how it looked. And I'm making a part, like a kind of upwards part, if that makes sense, and kind of diagonal, if that makes sense also. It's hard to explain, but you can watch and see what I'm doing. Um, and then on that side, I'm taking a little bit more hair off because that's the side I'm doing the bang on and I don't need that much hair. So on that side, I'm going to go ahead and spray it with water and I'm also detangling that side. Um, this is the side that's going to have the bang on it, so I'm making sure it is tangle free. Then I'm using my White Line Extreme Gel and I'm brushing my hair with my hard bristle brush. And I'm just trying to get that part um, nice and smooth and like, you know, laid down actually because it's going to be the bang, like I keep saying. Um, and yeah, so... I was kind of with this hairstyle all over the place and I was doing that section first and then I did another section I'm just like all over the place. So now I'm parting my hair and I believe in the picture she had like a half up half down. So that's what I'm doing. I'm parting this section so this can be the part that is up in the ponytail. So now I'm working on the ponytail part and I'm spraying it with water and I'm detangling that part first. Um, I didn't really like secure it yet um, in this part. I'm just pulling it up and like I said I'm all over the place so I did this and then I jumped over to doing the uh, rubber band part of my hair and then that uh, side part the little bang is not really secure either so that's what I mean when I say I'm like all over the place but now I'm detangling that section this is the part that I'm doing the rubber bands on so I went ahead and I detangled it now I'm parting the hair again and I'm doing um, just four sections four rubber band four rubber bands on this part and I'm using those rubber bands. I'm just using the white ones out of there because I wanted them to show. She has yellow ones. Um, I don't have yellow ones so I'm using white and yeah so I'm just parting my hair. I'm making four squares out of that section and I'm putting the rubber bands on and you want to make sure you do it tight so they don't slip off and yeah. And you can probably see here my parting for this section is not not really straight, not really perfect, but it doesn't really have to be because you can't really see the part anyway. So I didn't really stress over making them even. So yeah, I'm continuing putting on the rubber bands on this section and that's how it looks when I'm done. Um, and now moving on to the actual uh, ponytail part. I'm like twisting the rubber band, twisting the hair that I put the rubber band on. And I'm trying to get it as tight as I can to pull it up into the ponytail. And also this is when I'm going to actually like have the ponytail in tight and keep it that way. And so now I'm working on the bottom portion of my hair and the hair that's going to get left out. So I'm spraying it with water and I'm going and doing like one section at a time. I have two sections to do. So I sprayed it with water and now I'm using my brush and I'm detangling my hair first. And then I'm combining both the sections and I'm just brushing through again. And I also use some of the uh, Extreme Wet Line Gel and I put that on my hair um, for the part that's left out. Now for that swoop bang, I'm going to go ahead and take a piece of hair from the opposite side of my head. And I'm tying those two together. You can see a better like picture here. But I started doing this because it's so much easier and bobby pins never seem to hold my hair in place. So I decided to do that instead and it works so much better. So now I went back in on that ponytail and I wanted to redo it um, just because it was looking kind of dry. So I'm adding more water and I'm detangling it again. And again, I am pulling it up into a tight bun or ponytail. And then once I did that, I'm going to go ahead and take the rest of my hair down. And I'm going back in with some water and some more gel just to define my curls. And now for my edges, I'm going to go ahead and do those. Um, on this side, she kind of has more like, 
like wavy edges if that makes sense and I tried to get it kind of like that to connect with each other and this is the final result for this hairstyle again this is like my favorite one and I'm giving this one a 10 out of 10 so with all that being said hope you guys like the video and everything that I showed and if you did make sure to like comment subscribe for more content and more videos for me and I'll see you in my next video bye